Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you to connect with the strength that is you. Connect with the power that is within you. It's not hidden. It's waiting to be revealed. But it's our choices that allow the revealing to happen. From when we first jumped into these vessels, we were learning about ourselves, about the outside world. It's constant evolution through learning, through experiences. Embrace that. More importantly, remind yourself that you always have a choice. Whoever you are, personality wise, character wise, uh, habitually, it's choices. And sometimes we hand over the authority. Many times we hand over the authority for whatever reason. We hand over that authority of making choices to others. And when that happens, we don't like the results. This is speaking from my own experience. You may have a different one. But I want to remind you of the strength that you gain in building that trust in yourself. The strength that you gain in choosing who you are and not being caught up to what people tell you to be. It's not about reputation. That's what other people think about you. Who cares? That doesn't give you strength. And if you believe that it does, only you'll have that kind of power. As limited as it is. Because just as people give you that, they can take it away for whatever reason they choose. Doesn't feel so powerful when you had that realization. But when you trust in who you've chosen to be, when you trust in the power, the strength that you have within yourself, there's a lot going off in the background. Apologize. Simply trust it in yourself. When you operate from that kind of that kind of energy, that kind of presence, that kind of aura. Oh, you're going to irritate some people. They're not going to like it. If anything, they're going to treat you like, who do you think you are? And when you're confronted with that kind of energy, when you're confronted with that kind of reaction or response to who you've chosen to be, don't take offense to it. Nah, you a child of the most high just as you know they are too. But if they didn't reveal it in themselves, it's not your job. Not at all. Connect with the strength that is within you. That's the God within you. That's that divine spark that we speak about. Nobody can take that away from you. You can only give it away. But the more and more you connect with that within you, the more you reveal the inner yearnings within you, the more that you harness that power within you, your discernment increases. You will see things for what they are, whether you like it or not. And that's fine. You will learn, well, I'll say for myself, I learned not to get caught up in reputation because it's fickle. And truthfully, my reputation has nothing to do with who I am. It's how others view me. But it's interesting how it plays out. When you step into your own power. When you maneuver around those who think they know you, they have no idea. And you can watch them attempt to handle you in their folly. And they don't have any kind of power, but because... They've told themselves who they think you are. They get frustrated because you don't prove them right. You're only focused on who you are, who you've chosen to be. It's none of their business. Point blank period. Live your life. Choose how you want to view yourself. 
and move accordingly. It's not for anybody else to get. It's only for you to understand and experience, just as others have the same choices to make. Now, with different times along our journey, we'll see that in the outside world, what appears to be powerful one minute is overthrown. And a new power comes, and a new power comes, and a new power comes. But all of these are the same play. It's the same thing playing out each and every time. It's changing of the guard. And we can compare and say what thing is better, what thing is not better. It doesn't matter. Because if we're so caught up in what's happening outside of us, we lose sight of who we are or who we're choosing to be. We lose sight of what we're choosing to partake in and what we're choosing not to partake in. And we always have that choice. And as I go further along my journey, as I take more accountability, not only for my choices, but what I choose to entertain, for myself, I've learned how much authority we genuinely give away every day. Every day. It doesn't matter if we're talking about government. It doesn't matter if we're talking about law. It doesn't matter if we're talking about finances. It doesn't matter if we're talking about banking. It doesn't matter if we're talking about culture, uh, friend group, peer group work culture it it doesn't matter we give away so much authority and it's mostly through ignorance one of the most interesting aspects that i've come across is that we're taught more so to give away this authority and that, that i mean that's a whole nother topic i just want to remind you of your strength your power this message comes because yesterday I was having a conversation and during this conversation, uh, me and this person were sharing stories uh, from the past and the present. And this younger person was expressing to me their understanding of certain interactions. They were telling me, this is who I choose to be. And this is how this person treats me at time. And I said, yeah, I understand that feeling. And I allowed this person to talk and express themselves. And in doing so, I was able to see that through their unfiltered and honest expression, I can not only see who they were, but I could see what choices they made in life. They chose to be a certain kind of person. They chose not to be a, a negative or mean-spirited person. They told me about a time when they were a mean person and they didn't understand. And when they understood, they changed and they made a choice to be better. Hopefully that person holds on to that. Because it took me years to figure that out. And this is just me being honest. This is me being grateful that I had that interaction. Because what it also showed me is even at their age, I'm what, 20, 30 years a senior, this is a kid. Even at their age, they understand the difference. They understand, even if they don't know how powerful it is, they understand the strength within them. They understand the value of making a choice for a better experience for themselves. And the longer that we're in this thing we call reality, we can lose sight of that. We really can. I turned 40 this year and I've never felt more alive. I don't care what the world is doing. There's certain things I pay attention to to prepare myself to make sure I'm taken care of in my reality. But I learn more and more each day how to step into my own authority. I learn how to make certain choices to stay within my power, not give my power away. And everyone has their own version of doing that. 
So I'm not here to preach that my way is the right way. I want to remind you that you too have that power. And some of you are operating in that power on levels that I will never understand. It's so far beyond me. And that's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love to see people doing better than me. Because it inspires some people need reminders of how strong and how powerful they truly are. And that's why I share these messages. To remind you. You have something that's waiting to be revealed within you that words cannot even express. Nourish that. Build upon it. And whatever you do. Do not give that power away. Harness your strength. Love it. Cherish it. And build upon it. Because whether you know it or not. You're impacting somebody. That somebody is you. Until next time be blessed. Most importantly. When you see yourself, smile along your journey and know that if nobody else got you, you got you. And God is always carrying you with you. All right, y'all.